The cosmic calendar compresses all of the last 13.8 billion years since the Big Bang. The star is Betelgeuse, a red supergiant in the constellation Orion. The cosmos is more complex than it seems, and colossal events could shake the foundation of everything we see and don't see, such as a colossal star supernova, which is most feared. Betelgeuse has shown signs of concern. It is a supergiant red star, 764 times larger than our sun astronomers and scientists like Brian Cox believe it may go supernova at any moment. The outcome is feared, especially as the James Webb Space Telescope reveals shocking images of the star. When exactly will Betelgeuse go supernova, and what impact will it have on Earth? Let's find out. In the Orion constellation, a star shines so brightly that it has never gone unnoticed, even by ancient people. This is the famous Betelgeuse, positioned at the eastern shoulder of the Orion constellation, and the reason for its name, which means the giant's shoulder. Betelgeuse is the second brightest star in the Orion constellation and tops the list as one of the most luminous stars in the night sky. The star is not only outstanding for its brightness but also for its reddish color, which, as we will find out, is a danger sign. Betelgeuse has long been known and studied, even by the ancient Greek astronomer Ptolemy, at a time when all that was known about stars was their color. Ptolemy described Betelgeuse's color as orange. In recent years, scientists have studied this star more intensely and gained a good understanding of this strangely bright star. One characteristic is that Betelgeuse is a variable star, with an apparent magnitude of 0.6. A variable star fluctuates in its pulsation, which is usual for Betelgeuse. However, scientists discovered something unusual in 2019 when Betelgeuse started dimming, reaching a magnitude of about 1.6, much dimmer than usual. This was strange, as Betelgeuse was normally the tenth brightest star in the night sky, so scientists began investigating. The investigation culminated in terrifying predictions. Scientists now believe Betelgeuse has a high potential to go supernova at any moment. Brian Cox, a notable scientist, has made this deadly prediction. As a professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester and a science communicator, his views are taken seriously. According to Cox, Betelgeuse could blow up any time, signifying it is a ticking time bomb. To make things worse, the James Webb Space Telescope has supported this announcement. But what strange signs has Betelgeuse shown to cause such concern? Scientists have classified Betelgeuse as a supernova candidate because it has 15 times the mass of the Sun, and stars need only be 8 times the Sun's mass to become supernovas. Scientists have employed tools like the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory to monitor the celestial activities around Betelgeuse. Six billion years after our Sun was born, Betelgeuse started showing strange signs, including peculiar light waves from the Orion constellation. Betelgeuse, being a semi-variable star, typically dims every 430 days and experiences dark spots, similar to our sun. However, recently, Betelgeuse has been pulsating from bright to dim twice as fast as before. In February 2021, its dimming cycle reached a magnitude of plus 1.614, shortly after the Great Dimming in 2019. This event created tension, as scientists feared Betelgeuse was about to go supernova. But after the Great Dimming, Betelgeuse recovered its brightness and became 150% brighter than usual. Astrophysicists like Andrea Dupree of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics have been astonished by Betelgeuse's strange behavior. The star now shines as the seventh brightest star in the night sky, exuding a red glow that terrifies scientists. This red glow is due to Betelgeuse's relatively cooler surface, about 3,500 Kelvin, compared to the sun's 5,500 Kelvin. Despite its cooler temperature, Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life, 
which is why scientists are watching it closely. Studies from the Hubble Space Telescope have revealed that the great dimming was caused by a massive ejection of hot gas from Betelgeuse's surface, which created a dust cloud that obscured its brightness. Other observations, like those from the Wehai Observatory in Chile, have shown a significant drop in the star's surface temperature. Further studies confirmed that both dark spots and dust clouds played a role in the dimming event. Despite the concern, scientists have not concluded that Betelgeuse is about to go supernova. The James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful space telescope, is being used to study Betelgeuse in detail. It has provided invaluable insight into Betelgeuse's surface, gas patterns, and dust clouds, helping scientists refine their predictions about its future. Betelgeuse's size and behavior continue to intrigue scientists, who are now monitoring it closely with the James Webb Space Telescope and ALMA, Atacama Large Millimeter Array, in Chile. Betelgeuse's dark spots and gas plumes have provided clues about the star's activity. Despite some scientists believing Betelgeuse is not about to go supernova, they agree that it is nearing the end of its life, and when it explodes, it will be a massive event. If Betelgeuse goes supernova, it will release high-energy radiation, including X-rays and blast waves, that could destroy planets in its path. However, Betelgeuse is about 640 light-years from Earth, which is too far to cause any direct harm. Still, scientists are keeping a close eye on it. The event would allow scientists to study the final stages of a supergiant red star up close for the first time. While some scientists, like MIT professor Salvatore Vitali, believe that Betelgeuse's strange behavior does not necessarily mean it will go supernova soon, the future remains unpredictable. Thankfully, Astronomers and scientists are constantly monitoring Betelgeuse for any new developments. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching until the end. What do you think? Is Betelgeuse going supernova soon? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below.